Greetings everybody, this is Alan Thorne from bnd.biz. I'm a game developer who wants to help you make great games and this is a tutorial for the Godot engine. If you want to use C Sharp inside Godot, this is the tutorial for you to get started. Since Godot version 3, it now supports the C Sharp language. Previously it supported only GD script or Godot script, but in this new version you can use C Sharp and I want to show you how to do that. There are a ton of reasons why you might want to use C Sharp. Perhaps you're coming to Godot from the Unity engine and you're familiar with C Sharp. Or maybe you're already familiar with C Sharp from a completely different context. Or maybe you just want to focus on learning a scripting language that has a wide variety of applications that can be used in many different places. C Sharp satisfies all of that criteria. It's a great language and in this video here I'm going to show you step by step on how you can use C Sharp in the Godot engine, complete with code completion, great syntax and a good editor. We're going to see all of that stuff and write a very first program in C Sharp just to see how all of this stuff works and is put together. So let's get started at using C Sharp in the Godot engine. So let's get started at using C Sharp in the Godot engine. Now I'm going to break down this process into just a few simple steps that you need to complete in order. Step number one is to download the Godot engine itself. You may have already done that, but there's something important about the download process. So I'm going to bring in a web browser window to bring you to the Godot homepage. Now for you, it may look slightly different depending on when you're watching this tutorial, but fundamentally, on the download section here, I'm going to select that button to display the download page. Now be careful what you download here. We don't want to download the standard 64-bit version. That's not the version you want. Slightly further down you'll see there's a mono version available with C Sharp support. And that is the version of Godot that you want to download. And that's the version that I've gone ahead and downloaded here. Now the next thing that you want to download after Godot, after downloading and installing Godot, is you'll want to download Visual Studio Code. Now this is a completely separate program made by Microsoft. It's a code editor for writing script files. But as we'll see, this is a really great editor tool to use because the Godot editor isn't really designed for writing C Sharp programs. It's designed for its own scripting language and so writing C Sharp in the Godot editor is technically possible, but it's far from ideal. So you'll want to download a code editor and I recommend Visual Studio Code. You can download that here from code.visualstudio.com and we have a download button. In my case, I'm using a Mac computer, but code is available for Windows, Mac and even Linux. Wow, a Microsoft program that runs on Linux. I never thought I would see the day, but thankfully it is here. So then I'm going to minimize my web browser window to return back to the Godot engine. I'm going to be writing a really basic Hello World program that's just going to print Hello World to the console down here in the output panel for the Godot engine. Now to create a C Sharp script inside the Godot engine is pretty straightforward. I'm going to move over here to, for example, the resource panel. Actually, I'm going to create a new empty object. And if you've never used Godot before, it's absolutely fine. Just follow along with what I'm doing. We're just using this to demonstrate how to use C Sharp in Godot here. So I'm going to create a new node by right clicking, and choose add new node. And I'm going to add a new spatial node and I'm going to name or rename this spatial node here. So I'm just going to call this hello world. It's going to print the message hello world to the console. Under the script section here inside the inspector, if I choose script, I'm going to choose new script and here we have the choice of different scripting language. You can see in this drop down here by default it may have chosen GD script for you but in this case you'll want to choose C sharp script because that's what we're going to be creating. I'm going to name the file here. This is where you can choose the initial name for your script file. Notice it has the dot C sharp extension. In this case I'm going to simply here choose hello world dot C sharp and then choose create. Now, the very first time you may be using Godot, it's going to open that script file inside the Godot script editor. 
And it moves to the script section here. We were initially on the 3D tab, viewing our 3D scene, but you can switch to the script editor and it will display the script file that has just been created. Notice on the bottom left hand side, it has actually created the hello world.c sharp script file. You can see that is part of the project. Now, if I choose the build button on the top right hand side, it's going to analyze all the script data inside my file here. And that's absolutely fine. It's, it's analyzed the data. That's great. The project has compiled. Everything's been successful. Now I could begin and start writing my C sharp script directly in this script editor. I could do that. But as soon as I start doing that, we're going to find a ton of frustrating stuff. We don't get code completion. For example, if I want to type gd.print and I want to see the arguments, notice we don't get any drop down. There's nothing here to really help us and to tell us if we're doing the right thing or not. And that's a big problem with the script editor. And that's why we want to use Visual Studio Script instead of the Godot code editor. So how do we get that set up in here in Godot? The first thing you'll want to do, I'm going to move back to the 3D panel here is move up here to the menu and choose editor and move to editor settings and select that. Move right down here, right down to the bottom of this list and make sure you choose here editor to select editor. And under the external editor, I'm going to click on the drop down and make sure that you choose Visual Studio Code, going to activate that option and then choose close. Now what that means is when I double click on this script file, it's going to open that inside Visual Studio Code. If I move to the script tab, I still get the ability to use the Godot script editor. That doesn't go away. It's still there if you want to use it. But if I double click on the script file, it's going to open that inside Visual Studio Code. Now, before I do that, there are some things inside Visual Studio Code that I want to set up before I start using it. So next, I'm going to jump over to Visual Studio Code. Now, when you first open Visual Studio Code, you may get a screen that kind of looks blank like this. You may get a completely different kind of screen. But one thing that I can pretty much be sure about is on the left hand side at the very bottom, you're going to get the extensions tab. The first thing we want to do when installing Visual Studio Code is we want to install a C Sharp plugin that gives us code completion and syntax highlighting for the C Sharp scripting language. So you'll want to select the extensions panel here and in the search field, simply type C Sharp. Now, when that happens, it's going to find a whole variety of different extensions that relate to the C Sharp scripting language. But the one that we want here is the very top one, C Sharp for Visual Studio Code, powered by OmniSharp. And there's a button here for install. I'm going to click the install button and it's going to download and install that plugin directly into Visual Studio Code. And in fact, it's already been installed. It really is that quick. The next thing that I want to do is to change the highlighting of a theme for Visual Studio Code. Now, you may not want to do this. You may be happy with this dark theme, that for, but for presenting video tutorials, I find that a lighter theme actually works much better. So if you want to change the theme, here's how you do that. You move to the top menu and choose code. This is how it works on a Mac. On a Windows computer, you'll use the edit menu instead. I'm going to move to preferences and then choose color theme. And we get a range of different color schemes to choose between. I'm simply going to be choosing light, default light here to select this light format. I may come back in and change that just a little bit, but I'm going to leave it at this setting to choose the lighter setting. And then I'm just going to minimize Visual Studio Code to return back to Godot. Now to bring my script file into Visual Studio Code, all I need to do is simply double click the Hello World C Sharp script file. So I'm going to double click that to bring that into Visual Studio Code. Now it may take a little while just to open the file, but here we are. Visual Studio Code, and it's opened up the entire script file here into code. I'm just going to resize that to match the recording window. And you can see we have our script file. Now let's test this out. For example, I'm going to go back to my ready function here. 
this is going to happen when the level begins. I'm going to type GD dot. And notice now I can actually get access to code completion. So to print the hello world message, I'm going to type GD for Godot dot print. And I'm going to type hello world exclamation mark semicolon to end that line. And I'm going to save the script file with control S or command S. When I then minimize Visual Studio Code and return back to Godot to make sure that my changes have updated, I want to go back to the build button to rebuild the project and make sure that's working as intended. So that's going to recompile my project. Great. I'm going to clear the console here. And then the last thing that I want to do to just test out my Hello World program is I want to run the scene here. So I'm going to press play on the toolbar. It runs the Godot project and notice in the background in the console tab down here in the output we have our hello world message because we went ahead and completed our script file. Anytime now that I need to bring that back to change my code I just have to double click on the file that will bring that back here into Visual Studio, beg your pardon, Visual Studio Code where I can then begin to add my code. And actually, the code completion is pretty extensive. It even remembers key critical Godot functions. For example, I can choose public, and I can choose override, void. And here we get a whole series of critical Godot events. Process for every single frame, physics process, the initialization, enter and exit tree functions, a ton of stuff here, all available in code completion right here in Visual Studio Code. So if you want to use C Sharp here in Godot, this is the way to do it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. This has been Alan Thorne from bnd.biz. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out our full range of other tutorials available for Godot and other game development software.